little save here. And now I believe the next room is going to be more uh, more bandits, so we'll go in there and have another little fight. Loot everything on the way. Oh, nice, those honeycomb. Now, it says value 18, but if I was to go and buy these at the shop, I think they're like 200 to 300 each. So I'm saving myself a lot of money by finding those honeycomb. And if I remember correctly, I think you use those for uh, fortify health potions, I want to say, uh, which actually sell for a lot of money. So that'll be great. More potions, more fish. Grab that. A spell I can use on him? Check and see. Okay, that's going to be the next thing. I do need to get a long range spell. I only have these short range ones and I can't hit him from here without him noticing me. So I'm going to start by summoning her here and then I'll wait a second to get some magic back and then go in to fight this guy with a full magic bar and a summon to act Patronite. Is someone there? Oh no. Oh, these Berserkers are really strong. Something. Oh, I think I got hit by an arrow. Let's get a little heal. Oh, Orcish Greatsword. That's awesome. Take that. That is some nice steel armor. Let me actually, I didn't equip those new pieces of armor. Let's see, these are 17, and then the steel cuff boots are the same. But what's the. Oh, they weigh the same as well. But the Nord boots do cost more. Now, I, I like the look of these ones better. So I think we'll do the steel cuff boots, and then we'll equip the... Wait, that's at warmth 12. What does the Nord male boots give? Same, 12. Okay, yeah, so we'll equip this, and... Oh, the steel armor is actually an upgrade. So we'll switch to that from the Highwayman mail. I shouldn't be using that light armor anyway. And... I thought I had some boots, or some gauntlets. Oh, you know what, I gave them to, I gave them to Lydia, so don't have those. What do we got here? Oh, Book of Fur Armor. Okay, this is another one of those smithing books to make the UNP clothing, or armor, whatever. So that's a good find. I'll take this iron. Man, don't need those clothes. Of course, now we're finding a bunch of paper everywhere. Whoa. Hey, those... Yeah, that's actually stronger than what I have. Although, I don't know that I like the look of it. Uh, okay, these are better than the gloves that I have. Or than the iron gauntlets. So that's three more armor there. And then... Or is it heroic storm cloak boots? I mean, I guess the armor is a little bit better. 
I might as well. Now I, I need to make sure I have two pieces of light armor specifically for the experience gain. And I don't think I do. Yeah, because I switched from the highwayman mail. Let's let's see what she looks like now though. I mean she looks way cooler in general than with the highwayman mail. But we are losing out on a little bit of experience. You know, since I'm since I'm fighting, maybe I'll switch back to the light armor when I'm doing some smithing or something. But for now we'll just keep going. Take the food, why not? Don't really need the books right now. Oh, potion of Defender. That's an armor one. Um, some weapons, soul gems, and get some. We'll take all that. Okay, pretty sure that's another fight up there in the next cavern. So we'll do the same thing. Summon her. Grab the lightning. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Don't block me. What is this? Oh my goodness. You come back? Alright. Thank you. Don't hit Lydia. Get in there. Get in there. God, she's so strong. At least giving her all that armor and that elven warhammer. Very beneficial. And this is why I was saying that once you get your first companion, the game gets actually quite a bit easier. You can survive most things just from having that, you know, I mean, basically, you know, think of, the, think of it just like an MMO. If you're a mage, yeah, you can do some good damage, but having a tank makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Why does the wolf have a ring? This is the swaggiest wolf I've ever seen. Oh. That's actually pretty strong. I'll take that. I, I'm pretty sure that Lydia will actually use that. Take this. so nice not being over encumbered and actually taking most of the stuff. Lots of gains. 
I'll be able to smelt most of that down for iron, which again is going to be huge for smithing. And since we need to get to level 70, take every single little bit I can get. Grab the wine. Okay, now I'm finally over encumbered. Let's go over here. Oh, that's empty. What do we got in the barrels? Okay. A bit of ingredients, some food, standard stuff. I do like these caves for all the mushrooms. You know, obviously these are going to be needed to do a lot more potion making, so take that. Lydia sitting there like, I'm not here to mine, okay? I'm your bodyguard, not your slave. What's on your mind? Although, still here. We'll carry my stuff. It's an honor to serve you. I need to trade. Take. weapons. Hmm, now I wonder if she's going to equip that Nadachi. Oh, you lead, I'll follow. seems the Elven Warhammer is actually stronger. Although I don't know if she's more proficient in it. I'm not 100% sure if she's better off with two-handed weapons or with a one-handed weapon and a shield. Obviously, Having the shield means she's more than likely going to survive a little longer, but I think that they do prioritize damage unless you go into the uh, tweak options, which is a really nice mod. You can kind of change certain aspects of like how they play and whatever. Um, you, I know that the, the boss of this guy is right on the other side here. So we'll summon her, regen the magic, and then step outside. So this Rediscover Skyrim's Pass by Clearing Dungeons, that is from the uh, the Nord racial thing. I think it's like, after I clear those 10 dungeons, then I will end up getting a special Nord bonus. I think you only need to do it one time. Um, I can't remember what the boost you get to it is, but I'm assuming it's pretty decent since the way that they have it set up is, um, I believe that is like the permanent you, get, you only get to do it once as a Nord, and only as a Nord, and then every other class has their own other variant to their racials. Take that. Got some gold. Now... That does weigh a lot, but I'm gonna take it. Oh, that's cool. I think we can disenchant that. He'll just take all of the steel, and we can smelt it down for some more steel uh, ingots, or potentially just sell it, since gold is going to be a little bit of an issue for a bit. Um, and I do need a thousand gold to be able to buy a horse. That's going to be pretty useful for the you know coming quests. Now. If I remember correctly, I think, didn't we get a an archery ring back at the beginning that ended up getting disenchanted? So I'm pretty sure I'll already have, have this as an enchant, and I think I can just sell this, which, I mean, obviously it won't sell for the full 900, but, I mean, that's pretty nice. So take that. I think I should be able to disenchant that. And I'm pretty...
pretty sure I don't have that either. Conjuration spells and enchantments cost 12% less. Yeah. So we'll take that as well. Um, I will yes, give her friend. this because obviously over encumbered again. It's an honor to serve you. And she can carry so much stuff. She's definitely a, a serious pack mule for sure. Oh my god, those those gauntlets are so ugly. <laughs> Looks like she's just got a giant blob of Play-Doh on her hands. Look at that. Wait. Oh, I equipped it. Oh no. <laughs> no, I want the... Where is it? I'm going to back. Um, and we'll get rid of that. And that. Okay. Should we do it for carry weight now? I will protect you with my life. Uh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate the protection. All right. Now, I could try and just scale down the bottom of this mountain, but I think I think we're gonna take the immersive path back down and go look over all of the kills. I've got your back. I just couldn't imagine that somebody would go through, you know, this whole dungeon, get to the top, and just be like, well, I guess I'll just jump off this massive cliff down to the bottom. I mean, I know that maybe I should make an exception, seeing as how she's the Dragonborn or Legendary Warrior, but... I mean, that just seems a little bit ridiculous, doesn't it? Like, if it's just down, you know, a ledge or two, that's one thing. But I, I don't know that I really want to play this character as a um, immortal, jumping, glitching god. <laughs> the way that most people play their Skyrim characters. Yes, my thing? Yeah, that wasn't too long. I think I only added a couple seconds onto the uh, onto the path back, and I got to look over all of my handiwork. So that was good. Now I haven't gone over there yet. I haven't checked any of that stuff out, but I'm pretty sure it's just a couple, you know, normal villagers. I don't think there's anything really of note over there. It's just the expanded cities. So that white run just looks a little bit more filled in the surrounding area instead of just being open plains all around the city. Because, you know, most most big cities that were like this, at least as far as like, you know, visual perspective, there was always stuff that was going on on the outside of it. And the way that they have it normally in the game, it is a little bit plain on the outside. So one of these days, Thalmor, coming for you. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a dragon. All right, it's go time. Here we go, second dragon. That one kind of looks like a water dragon. What? Was that his companion? Oh, it was his companion. Yeah, that thing looks like a... Almost like a Nazgul type thing. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. A swamp dragon? Okay. Sure that their bites can actually one-shot the 
their breath is pretty strong as it is, but the but the bites are ridiculously powerful. And that was that was pretty fast. I mean, okay, granted, I did have what like five or six guards helping me to do it, and a wolf. <laughs> I think I think that's like an animal familiar from one of the guards. Kind of random that he had it. But yeah, no, this is good because these dragon bones and scales. Um, I will be able to, since I'm going down the heavy armor tree, the heavy dragon armor, once you get to the end, is ridiculously strong. And I believe that you can also use the bones to be able to make, oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. In a normal playthrough, I would make dragon arrows out of them, but seeing as how I'm not really doing range, um, I guess I won't really need that. Now, you know, I I am planning on playing this long term. Um, I I want to see really how far I can get with this playthrough, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to get up to like end game, you know, level one hundred kind of area. I was talking to a friend, and you know, we're kind of talking about uh, an old playthrough that I did, and this is actually in vanilla where I was I was playing as a lightning mage one time and I was able to use the lightning cloak, the chain lightning spell, a lightning rune that I placed on the ground, and then the lightning weather to basically use four lightning spells all at the same time on a dragon. It ended up landing right in front of me and by touching the lightning cloak by getting hit by the chain lightning, by getting hit by the rune, and from the lightning coming down from the sky all at the same time, it actually vaporized the dragon into a pile of dust. I only ever did it that one time, but I think it would be really amazing to be able to pull that off again. So that's gonna be the goal, to basically one-shot a dragon once once I kind of get to that end game part. So um, that's, that's kind of like the, that's how I'll know that I'll have made it as a as a lightning warrior. <laughs> really channel the true power of of Thor. Okay, good there. Lead on. We will head back to town and deposit all these items, smelt down the stuff. And then probably go and try and hit one more, um, one more small dungeon or something of that sort. There's still a bunch of stuff around here to explore. Um, eventually, this is going to be on the to-do list. Is if you see off in the distance there, there's that giant tower. I I don't know what that tower is. I've I've never seen it before. I don't even remember it being in the last mod playthrough that I did and so I've never actually been to that tower and I'm pretty sure it is a, uh, a mod or a mod quest line or something along those lines so it, now obviously it's kind of in a little mountainous area so I'm probably going to end up needing cold weather gear which I'm pretty close to having what I need so that's on the to-do list is to go and check out that super tall tower and see what's inside I, I'm guessing that there's probably some powerful mage up at the top of it that uh, you know might have some grand soul gems or something cool like that. So it'll be uh, exciting to go and hunt him down or whatever is in there down and maybe go and get some good loot out of it. Uh, do you see that guard? Is that guard sneaking? Yo, what? kind of tomfoolery is happening right now. Yeah, this guy's sneaking. Why? Who is this? What? I'm so confused. This guy's just creeping through the town. <laughs> oh! I wonder if he... 
I wonder if it's because of the dragon fight. He might still be registering the dragon as being around, so he's sneaking. Because look at this guy. He's still doing the cowering animation. Oh, that's Bjorlum. Okay, that's that's Mr. Squatman himself. He's the carriage driver. Which is weird that he's in here. It must have been because of the dragon. He might have ran into the town to protect himself. That's kind of new. Anyway, um... I will actually take all of her stuff. I am at your command. We'll break down most of this equipment. Um, I'm actually just going to take everything. Oh, I can't take it all that way. Dang. I'm just going to take everything real quick. And then I'll kind of go back through and give her what I think is going to be best as far as gear give her the... she does actually use some archery, so I could give her this instead of selling it. I mean, it would mean her doing a little bit more damage with that. It's very Xeno Warrior Princess in style. I kind of like that. Oh, hey, Koffel. How's it going? Welcome. Good to have you on the stream. Okay, so let's see, I think, I don't really want her to have the Imperial armor. Maybe I'll give her, you know, I'm actually going to give her this steel armor. I'll end up switching it to something else later. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like this steel armor, but I think that one that I just gave her is, I feel like it fits her a little bit better. This one is a little bit too much like barbarian style with the um, the fur kilt thing that she's got going on. Um, and I will give her the steel, we'll end up smelting that down or selling it. Um, I'm gonna give her, was it wasn't this gauntlet? No, because these are the normal ones. I wanna give her the strong steel. Where is it? Am I blind? Oh, okay, it was this. Steel plate, because this is a little bit stronger. So I'll give her that, and that. And then, oh, you know what? Let's see, this steel plate armor is 54 armor, and this one is... Oh. Yeah, I mean, this this definitely looks nicer, but I want to give her the actual armor, even though it covers her up a little more. Got to give her the, the stuff that's going to make her stronger for the combat, especially moving forward, at least until, you know, because she levels up as well with me, and so I want to try to make the most of her skills in the meantime so she's not dying a bunch. And... I will actually give her the helmet, but this is something nice that you can do because obviously this looks ridiculous. So you can go to uh, tweak options and go to gear, and then you can click this to only allow helmets during combat. So that's... It just looks a little bit nicer, you know, when we're not fighting. Oh, I don't know that I like that kill either. That one's even longer and more weird looking. Uh, uh, you know, I, I can't do it. That looks terrible. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, you gotta, gotta suffer to look good. And um, that does not look good. So we're gonna give her the other steel armor. It does look a lot nicer. Why didn't she equip it? Lead on. Oh, is it? Of yes, course, it's not as strong as what she's wearing. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna need to wait. Of course, ma'am. Take that back. Okay. Well, Very it looks like she's sticking with the uh, barbarian armor for a while. 
moving a little bit slow, but that's okay. I'm going to end up smelting most of this stuff down, and then I should be good for carry weight. Well, maybe not, but I mean, the house is literally right there. We'll go and deposit all the stuff up. Okay, some more, and those iron daggers. I don't want to get rid of the pickaxe. These are nice because this is actually giving two steel or two iron ingots or three or four for these as well. That's why it's good to pick up all those iron weapons to smelt them down. This recycling mod is one of the best quality of life mods that is really out there as far as I'm concerned. Oh, that's the highwayman mail. I I kinda wanna keep that just for the light armor bonus for now. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to that for the time being. We'll go to steel. We are going to need a bunch of corundum to be able to make um, certain uh, housing pieces, like housing locks and stuff for when I start doing the the heart fire expansion and build a house. So it's good to start stocking up on that now. I, f I feel like I might have just dismantled something I didn't want to dismantle, but I guess it's too late now. Get rid of that. And that. Oh, this is a lot of steel armor. Or, I mean, s steel bars. That's good, though. Should be a good amount of experience. Wow. Yeah, that was a lot of bars. Did have the Dwarven. Yeah, we'll break that down. The Elven Warhammer. Wait, so I can break down the exact same Elven Warhammer for either three ingots or four ingots. Huh? Well, obviously I want to go for the four, but why? That's so weird. Or Calcum, nice. Oh, the Tribunal Mask breaks down into Ebony. Okay, we definitely need that. That's huge, since I'm going to need, I don't know how many pieces of that to make a few of the really good pieces of gear, so I'll actually break that down. That's that's awesome. I didn't think I was going to find any of that soon. Oh, I want that. I don't think it's worth the gems to break these down, especially since they're not flawless, so we'll pass on that for now. I'm going to need some firewood, so we'll break that down, and I guess, yeah, might as well get the XP out of it. What is this? Soul gems? I don't really need that magic essence, so 